Well, history in the making for FC Dallas as they advance to their first MLS Cup in club history. And before we look to the future for them on Sunday at BMO Field in Toronto, we want to take a look back at the Western Conference Final against the LA Galaxy and what I thought were some of the keys for FC Dallas to have success in advancing to that MLS Cup. First, we talked about FC Dallas's formation and that familiar 4-1-4-1. LA Galaxy in a 4-4-2. Sometimes it did morph into a 4-5-1 with Mike McGee dropping back in the midfield a little bit. I think that was a little bit more to deal with Danielle Hernandez when FC Dallas was in possession. But the first key to success for FC Dallas in that game I mentioned was to be very good in possession and while at the same time watching for that quick counter of the LA Galaxy. And you'll see in this clip here it's excellent possession through the midfield. Jackson gets around the outside and serves an excellent ball into the area that ends up getting cut out and it falls to the feet of Mike McGee but you see that speed of Jackson on display his recovery pace was good he ends up committing a foul at midfield a tactical foul but ultimately the goal of that is it broke up that quick counterattack off of the good possession so there you saw one key to the game for FC Dallas and they did a very good job there I felt the second key to success for FC Dallas in the match against the LA Galaxy was to be able to create good wide play, and particularly from the feet of Daniel Hernandez and Dax McCarty. And you'll see in this play, really, it's just a clearance from Daniel Hernandez. Atiba Harris, Marvin Chavez competing with Eddie Lewis. They went out. You see the penetration starting to come from Harris. The ball slipped into the feet of Marvin Chavez. And as that wide play is happening, you see the defense of the LA Galaxy stretching out. That enables David Ferrer now at the top of the 18 to get isolated one-on-one -on -one with Omar Gonzalez. And the MVP candidate, David Ferrer, was so quick to turn and release that shot that left Donovan Ricketts frozen. And a brilliant strike it was. And that was a game-changing play for FC Dallas. And it was David Ferrer that made it. I thought the third key to success for FC Dallas against the LA Galaxy was to be very disciplined defensively and particularly not committing silly fouls in and around the final third where they're defending the free kick service of David Beckham. A little statistic to support that, they committed one foul in the run of play against the LA Galaxy and that was in a wide area where a service was then allowed from David Beckham but that was the only one in the first half. Obviously they had some corner kicks early on in the game and really applied a lot of pressure. But in terms of being disciplined defensively, FC Dallas in the first half was very good at that. And in fact, they didn't commit another foul in and around their own defensive third until late on in the second half. So that's a telling stat. You saw that discipline of FC Dallas coming to fruition. Now let's take a look ahead to the MLS Cup and the keys to success for FC Dallas in that big match. Well, here it is, the biggest game of the year again for FC Dallas, but this time it's club history, MLS Cup Final, and now against the Colorado Rapids, the fifth time that these two teams will meet in the postseason. So what we have in this match, and I think a key to success for FC Dallas, yes, probably they will line up in that 4-1-4-1 formation, and Colorado lines up in a 4-4-2. And really the anchor of their midfield is Jeff Lorenowitz and Pablo Mastorani, much like the LA Galaxy center midfield duo of Dima Kovalenko and Janino. So what we want to see in this match, what I'm looking for specifically, is can FC Dallas create good wide play? And if they do that, the player that benefits the most is David Ferreira. I told you that about the LA Galaxy match. And so what you'll see in this clip here, the play begins off the foot of George John. Early on in the game, FC Dallas was so good in that game at Colorado on the 31st of July at really creating good wide play. And so what you see in this clip is a ball being played into the feet of David Ferrer early. Quickly he gets turned and then he plays a killer pass in between Julian Baudet and Drew Moore of the Colorado defense. And it's Breck Shea in behind free and clear on goal. Unfortunately his effort is pushed wide but you saw the effectiveness of David Ferreira, the benefit of the wide play and the man that made the play was Ferreira finding that space in between the seams to create an excellent attacking movement. When FC Dallas and the Colorado Rapids met on the 31st of July, Connor Casey didn't play in that game. He had a head laceration he suffered at Seattle and was still unavailable for the Rapids. And so when they returned to Pizza Hut Park for the second leg of that series uh, during the season, Casey was back in the lineup. And what an important player he is. So the second key to success for FC Dallas is to really limit Connor Casey. So what they want to try to do is make his play predictable. And when they were here at Pizza Hut Park back on October 9th, Casey, you'll see in this clip, received a routine pass 
from Anthony Wallace, but you saw the strength and the ability of Connor Casey to get quickly turned around Jackson and quickly runs inside and has the time and space to get his head up and then bring an attacking player of Colorado moving forward. You saw the vision of Casey as he splits Jair Benitez and Zach Lloyd and he gets Omar Cummings on the end of it free and clear with an attempt that was just off target in front of Dario Salas' goal. So what FC Dallas will look to do is try to limit how much Connor Casey brings Colorado attacking players into their forward movements. That will be a key to success for FC Dallas. I believe the third key to success for FC Dallas in the MLS Cup against the Colorado Rapids will be their final third decision making. So Colorado is a team that defends very well and defends collectively. If Colorado gets the early lead, FC Dallas will have to be very good at trying to break them down. And we saw exactly that back on October 9th here at Pizza Hut Park. Colorado off to an early lead through a Jeff Lorenowitz goal. You'll see the good movement of FC Dallas and Ferreira gets an overlapping run of Heath Pierce. They've got a 2v1 against Danny Earls who had just come in for Anthony Wallace who picked up an injury. So Pierce gets around the outside. There's the penetration. They're in behind that Colorado defense. The service of Pierce is good. The header of Harris is good as well, but it hits the crossbar. The man that is there to finish the play, Milton Rodriguez. That was the equalizing goal, but the story was that FC Dallas was able to break down that back line of the Colorado Rapids. And if FC Dallas in the MLS Cup Final finds themselves down a goal, they may have to do that again. The Colorado Rapids are a very well-organized team. They can defend very good collectively, so FC Dallas will need to show that ability to break them down. That is another key to success. Well, we're all in for a great match on Sunday at BMO Field in Toronto as the MLS Cup is on the line. Neither one of these teams have won a Major League Soccer championship before, so we know that the fight, the spirit, and the competitiveness, and certainly the physicality will be on display. Some of these keys for FC Dallas will be imperative if they want to hoist their first MLS Cup championship. Thanks for joining me for FCD TV. I'm Bobby Ryan.